Welcome to Terminology in Healthcare and Public Health Settings, Standards to Promote Health Information Exchange. In this unit, we will discuss some of the standard clinical vocabularies and terminologies that are needed to exchange health information across providers. The objectives for this unit, Standards to Promote Health Information Exchange, are to define terminology related to standardized data sets, identify and define the HIPAA standard data sets, identify and define the terminologies and vocabularies that represent nursing care, and define and give examples of the data interchange standards. Before we look at data collection in modern terms, let's take a look at what Florence Nightingale thought about hospital records in the middle of the 19th century. In attempting to arrive at the truth, I have applied everywhere for information, but in scarcely an instance have I been able to obtain hospital records fit for any purpose of comparison. If wisely used, these improved statistics would tell us more of the relative value of particular operations and modes of treatment than we have any means of obtaining at present. The collection of data in health care has improved since Nightingale made this statement in 1863. However, we still collect data in such a way that it cannot be compared across systems. To compare data, we need to have standard definitions. Using only standardized terminologies or data sets means that data collection and reporting are done in a standardized manner. Here are a few important points about health information standards. A data set is a list of the data elements with uniform definitions for each element. Standardized terminologies allow us to merge data so that population health studies can be conducted, decision support can be utilized, and mapping between terminologies for patient-specific information can be achieved. Standardized data sets have a data dictionary that contains the metadata, that is, the data about each data element, so that users know what each data element means. For each data element, the data dictionary contains information, such as the definition, principles, and guidelines, the values, format, and synonyms. The specification for the values will include how many characters are in the data field, and if the characters use letters from the alphabet or numbers or perhaps alphanumeric, which would use both numbers and alphabet letters. In addition to using standardized terminologies so that all users understand what the data mean, different systems need to be able to technically exchange data. For instance, if a hospital wanted to access the data from the records of a patient's primary care physician. In order to be able to exchange data, the two information systems need to be what is known as interoperable. According to the National Alliance for Health Information Technology, interoperability is defined as the ability of different information technology systems to communicate, to exchange data accurately, effectively, and consistently, and to use the information that has been exchanged. Two key elements of this definition are exchange and use. For example, to exchange data between systems, data must be formatted in a standard manner. A patient's birth date may be stated in multiple ways. Even though we can understand these differences, the information systems do not automatically understand these differences in format. For the systems to be interoperable, each system must understand which numbers represent the month, date, and year. What is needed are what are called messaging standards. Standardized terminologies, also called ontologies, or healthcare system languages, have been designed to describe patient diagnoses, interventions, and outcomes. Standardized terminologies help achieve what is known as semantic interoperability. Semantic refers to meaning. Semantic interoperability assures that the terms mean the same thing to different users. And it is this aspect of interoperability that allows the data that are exchanged to be effectively used in clinical care and research. 
We will discuss both messaging standards and standardized terminologies in this unit. First, we will discuss messaging standards. Electronic health records, or EHRs, should comply with standards that support communications or exchange of data. The messaging standards are also called data exchange standards and sometimes called interoperability standards. Adhering to the standards supports accurate sharing of data. The various standards have protocols that define the formats for the electronic exchange of data. There are numerous messaging standards for EHR exchange of information. The appropriate standard depends on the type of data to be exchanged. For example, the American National Standards Institute, Accredited Standards Committee X-12, Insurance Subcommittee known as ANSI ASCX-12N, established standards for exchange of administrative data, which includes insurance claims. The standards specify how large the data field should be, whether the field is required or optional, and define the specific data elements that go in each field. The Digital Imaging and Communications in Medicine Standards, or DICOM, are used for the exchange and storage of images and diagnostic information. DICOM standards can be applied in any healthcare setting using diagnostic images such as radiology, pathology, dentistry, and surgery. The standards address areas such as data structure, data dictionary, message exchange, media storage, mapping, and so forth. Health Level 7, or HL7, is a nonprofit standards development organization, or SDO, that is accredited by ANSI and is used around the world for exchange of healthcare data. ANSI is the American National Standards Institute, and it is the organization in the U.S. that accredits the SDOs for the various types of standards. The standards include clinical data exchange, standard vocabulary, and document architecture which allows for exchanging, integrating, and retrieving data that supports healthcare delivery and management. HL7 facilitates the electronic exchange of data within a healthcare organization but also outside the organization. Now, let's look at some of the standardized terminologies. Before we go into the details of the different systems, we need to distinguish between classifications, terminologies, and vocabularies. Classification systems are designed to group similar or related data. One use of classification systems is for external reporting for a variety of purposes, including reimbursement. One example of a classification system is the International Classification of Diseases, 10th Revision, Clinical Modification, known as ICD-10-CM, that is used for reporting the principal diagnosis for which a patient is admitted to the hospital and other diagnoses which affect care. ICD-10-CM is also used to report the reason the patient is seen in the outpatient setting. For example, with ICD-10-CM, asthma diagnoses are grouped or classified together under the same category code. The subgroupings within the category provide further information on the severity of the asthma, along with if there was a sudden increase in severity and if the asthma was non-responsive to initial treatment. Procedures are coded by ICD-10 PCS. PCS stands for Procedure Coding System. In contrast to a classification, a terminology is a set of terms that represent a system of concepts. For example, in a terminology, the term hyperthermia would include the concepts of fever, febrile, and elevated temperature. Vocabularies are lists of words and their meanings, much like a dictionary. It is important to know that while some references define vocabularies as a collection of words with their definitions, others use terminologies and vocabularies as synonyms. More specifically, 
Clinical terminologies are designed to capture the documentation entered by providers when delivering clinical care. Medical information can be codified during the course of patient care if these terminologies are incorporated into the EHR. Codified is when medical information is reduced to or assigned a code. Codes can be a combination of digits or letters of the alphabet or both. Title II of the Health Insurance Portability and Accountability Act of 1996 contains standards related to the privacy, security, and electronic transactions and code sets for health information. Some of these health information standards specified terminologies and vocabularies, and code sets to be used by covered entities to make exchange of healthcare information easy. The HIPAA legislation of 1996 also established policies supporting standards for the EHR. The National Committee for Vital and Health Statistics made recommendations that identified standardized terminologies and vocabularies to be used with the EHR. In addition, within the National Library of Medicine's Unified Medical Language System, there are hundreds of terminologies that are publicly available. Although there are a lot of standard terminologies, HIPAA specifies standard code sets for coding diagnoses and procedures. These are the International Classification of Diseases 10th Revision Clinical Modification, or ICD-10-CM, National Drug Codes, the CMS Healthcare Common Procedure Coding System, or HICPICS, which includes the current procedural terminology 4th edition, known as CPT, and the Code on Dental Procedures and Nomenclature, which is also referred to as Current Dental Terminology, Dental Code Set, or CDT. We will now discuss each of these code sets. The International Classification of Diseases 10th Revision Clinical Modification, or ICD-10-CM, is a HIPAA standard code set. As we mentioned earlier, ICD-10-CM is a classification system because it groups similar conditions together and is hierarchical. The ICD-10-CM is a modification of the ICD-10 International Classification of Diseases, which was published by the World Health Organization, or WHO. The U.S. clinical modification of the ICD-10 was implemented in October 2015. ICD-10-CM has numerous purposes, including reimbursement for care, analyzing patterns of care, strategic planning, and monitoring utilization of resources, as well as research and statistical reports on diseases. The National Drug Codes, called NDC, is a HIPAA standard code set used for reporting retail pharmacy transactions. The NDC is owned by the U.S. Food and Drug Administration, or FDA, and is distributed by the Department of Health and Human Services. The code set identifies the ingredients and other characteristics of prescription drugs, over-the-counter, that is, OTC drugs, and drugs used by veterinarians. The NDC has numerous uses. One use is to code medications for billing and reimbursement. It is also used when one wants to track the use of drugs for public health protection, track adverse drug events, identify drugs for recall, and evaluation of the effectiveness of drugs used in natural disasters and terrorist threats. The Healthcare Common Procedure Coding System, known as HICPICS, is another HIPAA standard code set that is commonly used in the outpatient setting. The coding system is not only used in outpatient settings by healthcare providers and medical suppliers for reimbursement, but also for measuring quality of care and conducting research. It is composed of two levels. Level 1 is called the Current Procedural Terminology, or CPT codes. CPT contains the codes for services and procedures that physicians and other healthcare providers perform. 
It is published by the American Medical Association. Level 2 codes, called National Codes, identify medical supplies and products used. For example, the Level 2 codes contain codes for portable oxygen tanks. There are also codes for reporting services not included in the CPT codes. The current dental terminology, that is one of the HIPAA standard code sets, is in Level 2. It is used to report dental procedures. Much like CPT, it facilitates communication of accurate information and is the standard for documenting dental procedures. It is published by the American Dental Association. The American Nurses Association recognizes many nursing terminologies. Only a few will be discussed here. The North American Nursing Diagnosis Association, or NANDA, is a classification of nursing diagnoses. It is organized around 13 domains that include nutrition, activity or rest, and elimination or exchange. A nursing diagnosis is not a medical diagnosis, but an existing or potential problem. For example, a nursing diagnosis might be anxiety or pain. The Nursing Intervention Classification, or NIC, is used to identify what the nurse did for the patient to relieve or prevent current or potential problems. NIC contains 433 interventions. The Nursing Outcomes Classification, or NOC, is a terminology used for the evaluation of the outcome of the nursing interventions. Included with each outcome are the definition and indicators for assessing the effectiveness of the intervention. The Perioperative Nursing Data Set, or PNDS, is a standardized universal language developed by perioperative registered nurses. It is recognized by the ANA as a data set useful for perioperative nursing. Perioperative is the period of time surrounding the surgery from pre-admission to discharge of the patient and recovery at home. It includes nursing diagnoses, interventions, and nurse-sensitive patient outcomes. For example, an operation outcome is permit signed. The National Committee on Vital and Health Statistics has recommended the adoption and use of Health Level 7 and the Systematized Nomenclature of Medicine Clinical Terminology, or SNOMED CT, in all healthcare information systems. We have already discussed HL7. Now we will discuss SNOMED CT. The systematized nomenclature of medicine called SNOMED was originally developed by the College of American Pathologists, and the earliest version dates back to 1974 when they published the systematized nomenclature of pathology called SNOP. In 2007, the ownership was transferred to the International Health Terminology Standards Development Organization, but in the U.S., the National Library of Medicine, or NLM, distributes SNOMED CT. Although there are numerous versions of SNOMED, we will only review SNOMED CT. The CT stands for Clinical Terminology. SNOMED is really a compilation of many of the healthcare terminologies organized together in one terminology structure, including commonly used medicine and nursing languages. It is a comprehensive clinical terminology used all over the world and therefore is published in numerous languages. It has the information about the disease's location, structure, etiology, which is the cause of the disease, and the effect of the disease on the patient's ability to function. SNOMED CT is designed to be used in the EHR to capture the clinical information by assigning codes to terms that represent medical concepts, descriptions of those concepts, and their relationships. 
The preferred standardized terminology for representing laboratory data in information systems is LOINC. LOINC was developed by the Regenstrief Institute. It not only provides a standard way of representing laboratory data, but it can also be used to represent physiological patient data in a standardized manner. This concludes Standards to Promote Health Information Exchange. In summary, we have discussed the terms related to standardized terminologies. Since data exchange between interoperable systems requires that data be formatted in a standard manner, and that organizations use standard terminologies within the EHR, you should be able to identify and define HIPAA standard code sets and identify and define terminologies and vocabularies that represent nursing care. Finally, you should now be familiar with the numerous standardized healthcare terminologies and data sets that facilitate the exchange and transmission of healthcare data.